what's going on and welcome back so today is a pretty exciting day because if you've caught my last video and you remember what I said the next time or the next video is going to be the start of the Whipple supercharger install now before we install the supercharger though there is some things we need to do first mainly the oil pump gears and crank sprocket so today we are gonna get started on that I don't know how far I'll get and I doubt I will actually get into the gears and sprocket uh, but the tear down for that is going to begin so today I'm gonna to prep for that it's a little bit late in the day to get started on that because I want to be able to, once I get everything to the point where I'm going to pull the front cover off the engine, I want to be able to work on it nonstop so that I can finish it and get the cover back on the engine. I don't want to leave anything within the engine exposed. So today is basically getting to the point to where I can go no further without opening up the engine. So that is the plan. That is what I'm going to try to accomplish today and bring you guys along with it. But first, we have to move Project Stepchild back here. She can't sit over here. We have to actually move her across the shop to the other side. Now, why would I have to move the car to the other side, you might ask. Well, because in a couple weeks, and I don't know how long this is going to take me, and once the gears and sprocket are installed, I'm not gonna put the car back together to run it. The supercharger is going on immediately after that. So it's not going to be functional. So in a couple weeks, I've got a buddy, he's bringing his Tahoe over and we're actually gonna do an engine swap. Actually an engine replacement is what we're gonna do. So that's gonna take probably the better part of a weekend. So I don't wanna have my car in a way completely torn down and just and have to push it over. I will have to push it back though once we're done with his truck but that's not too big of a deal um, I just wanted to not have to push it as much as possible because as you guys probably know she's porky but anyway so let's get started let's get the car moved over and um, get started on this man it is about time and I'm ready so here we go Now, before I get started, I'm going to have to make sure the car clears. I did measure it out. Her butt's sticking out a little bit there. I did measure it out, and she should fit. But here's the problem. we got the trailer on this side of the garage, or this side of the shop, and it's all the way against the, the pole there. So We don't have much room, but we're going to try to uh, pull the car up and see make sure we got some room here so we're gonna move her up so that's gonna kind of hinder things I think which really sucks but let's see how much room we got over here okay we can move back just a little bit we got some room over here so let's Push her on back. Now let's see what we got. All right, that should work there. That should give me enough room to pull the, I'm gonna pull the front face off. It should give me enough room. That kind of sucks that that is there but there's not much I can do. 
because I had to have that room over there for my buddy's Tahoe. So anyway, let's get started, man. Basically, this is going to be kind of a highlight video, um, not a how-to. I'm just going to kind of highlight things as I go, like as I get the face off and where I'm at and that kind of deal. So here we go. We're getting started. It's Whipple time. It's coming. All right, y'all, so here is where we are, where we stand at the moment. Just wanted to show you real quick, give an update. I did remove the coder intake. It is sitting right there. And we do have the bumper support piece off. Also, these pieces here. This is a performance pack car, so these braces were in there as well. Those are out. That stuff had to come out for the heat exchanger which is going to go obviously right there so this is where we're at with the front fascia off the crash bar i guess they call it the cold air is off and yeah so we're making good progress man i tell you it did help a ton to have these quick release or these quick latches here on the side in removing the front fascia i don't like them but I mean, it did make it a whole lot easier just to kind of give you guys, you know, an idea if you ever have to use those. I mean, it, it did help. So, but anyway, wanted to uh, show you where we're at. There's the fascia over there. And yeah, we're making some progress, man. This is awesome. So I think the next step is probably going to be drain the coolant. Um, I got to check my procedure. I do have the procedure for the old pump gears, the Ford procedure. So I'm going to check that and... Uh, see where i need to be you know at this time so i can uh so i can get even further with this so man bear with me here we go let's keep going all right y'all it has been a long day it's getting a little bit uh into the early evening and i'm beat man um uh, the car didn't really beat me everything that i've taken apart seems to have come apart you know fairly well there's not many miles on this car so you know it wasn't too bad but when you're out here by yourself it's a little tough so just kind of want to show you where we're at with it and um you know where we're headed for the week but let me turn or for the next couple weeks but let me turn the camera around so that you can see the progress that i made today all right there she is this is the state that stepchild is in right now let me get you a little closer here but man i have put in some work today man i ain't gonna lie to you we got the coolant drained out all the accessories off the front which is basically just the alternator water pumps out uh, i even took the intake manifold off in preparation for the Whipple, I figured why not while I'm out here. It was only a matter of what, 10 bolts and you know some connectors on the back. I was already that far into it, so I figured I might as well take it off. I mean, it's got to come off anyway. So, but this is where we're at, man. Oh, it's been a day. I'm gonna tell you what, it has been a long day. Oh, and let me show you, I did kinda it's not fully bolted on, but this is the Steeda front bumper support. I will be running this and, um, you know, take a little bit of weight. It's not a whole lot. There's the uh, stock bumper support. Not a whole lot of weight, but it does remove some, which is helpful regardless. So, you know, we're going to throw that on there too. I figured I'd just kind of bolt it up and I actually used that to pull the car. <laughs> uh, it works for pulling it kind of works well but yeah man this is where we're at uh got a lot more work to do but i think this was a good start a very good start for one day i'm basically to the point to where i can't go any further without opening up the engine so i've already taken the bolts out i don't know if i can get you down there the bolts down at the bottom that go up into the oil pan there's four bolts there that you got to take out. I've already taken those out. And so the next thing is to unbolt the cam covers, get these off, and then pull the front cover. So got my wiring harness out of the way. 
as much as possible everything out of the way as much as possible but yeah i'm to the point to where the next step is to start opening up the engine i even took the uh bolts out of the coils there too so those are ready to pull out i just kind of left them in there just to keep bugs and whatnot out out from inside there so but yep this is where we're at next step is breaking into the engine now i probably won't do that until next weekend this is saturday um got some things to do around the house tomorrow so not much else is going to happen with the car this weekend um now this week i do plan on doing some of the stuff for the supercharger there's a few things that i can do while i'm waiting to break into the engine i don't want to do that unless i can do the entire job the the oil pump gears and the crank sprocket unless i can do the entire thing all in one shot so i don't want to leave the engine open that's just me maybe some people are okay with it but i don't want anything to get in there i don't you know i'm trying to avoid as many problems as i possibly can so this week i'll work on some of the supercharger stuff some of that install um and i'll be filming that to bring that to you guys maybe i'll have two videos this week you know <laughs> i haven't had two videos in a while and it kind of sucks but that's how it goes but anyway that's where we're at and then next weekend i will be doing the old pump gears and crank sprocket so i'm gonna try to get an early start so i can go you know start to finish so basically crack the engine open do everything seal the engine back up basically to the state that it is right now and then the next weekend after that then my buddy's bringing us tahoe and we're going to do the engine swap um he's got over i think over 200,000 miles on the current engine um, it's got a few issues and he ordered a new engine for it so that ought to be cool i'm gonna bring that to you guys as well might as well because that is what's going on here so anyway that is where we're at with project stepchild i'm gonna end it for today i'm tired man been out in the heat all day and it's time to go in catch some ac maybe catch a movie something like that and relax a little bit um like i said tomorrow i got stuff to do around the house so I'm gonna be outside again and do more work unfortunately not on the car but is what it is um that's life so but anyway the car is finally 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 i can't believe it. i can't believe i'm finally saying you know we are now working on getting the whipple installed so i know you guys have been waiting i've been waiting and man i can't wait till it is on there and this thing is tearing up the streets the track all that good stuff but anyway i'm gonna quit rambling and go inside so hope you like this video if you did hit a like button if you haven't subscribed please do so we're making progress on the Whipple, and we'll see you on the next one.